Welcome to week 11 of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Over the past 10 weeks, we've been hunting through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can sell for a profit on eBay. If we could save up $8,000 over a 16 week period, we're jumping on a plane and flying over to the USA for the ultimate thrift trip adventure. I've got a feeling today's gonna be a pretty big day, so let's dive into it. We'll see what we can find. Wowee guys, what a way to kick off the day. I've got a Wrangler corduroy jacket here, men's medium for $25. Happy to find it, should convert into about 60 bucks. The WSL Margaret River Pro, the World Surf League hoodie here guys. Genuine merchandise should convert into about 40 bucks for me. Now I've got these as well. Don't normally buy the white shorts, well for obvious reasons, but Tommy Bahama, such a great brand. These are in great condition. Just paying the $7 should be a bread and butter winner for me. As will these as well, the Columbia women's shorts. I like the blue check on these ones. Should get about a $30 sale price. A Big Baby brat Dolls, make sure you're looking out for these. I've got a $60 purchase price if you're buying that on eBay, so that was definitely worth a $5 investment. Not, uh, not on this occasion though with these Pumas, 15 bucks, probably getting about 45 bucks on eBay, so I left those behind. But these were a really good one here. We've got the Nike Metcons. I did have a bit of a look over, they were just the $8 price point, but I saw a big, big glue tear in the sole. Golden State Warriors, the great Steph Curry. He's out injured at the moment, but I found the hat. One second, Curry for three, good if it goes, and of course it does. So that was a really cool find. I'm always loving my hats. I've found these as well. The Asics Gel Cayano women's running shoes. These are a size US seven and a half, and yep, that's right. You'll get yourself about 80 bucks for them on eBay. I really love the Adidas canvas shoes that I've got here. More so for the colorway. I'm pretty hooked up on these colorways. $15 worth of a purchase price. They should go pretty well on eBay as well. Now guys, if you caught last week's episode of A Trip to the Thrift, you would have seen that we had these up for grabs, the Nike Air Max running shoes. And I'm pleased to report that we've got a lucky winner and that person is Mary Ann Hooper. Congrats, Mary Ann. These shoes are gonna be going out to you very, very shortly. Thank you very much for your support of the channel. I've got another giveaway as well, guys, and I'm absolutely stoked to be giving these away because they are just such a sweet pair of shoes. We've got the Adidas canvas shoes here. I just love the colorway. I reckon you'll get about 60 bucks for these. They are in excellent condition. They're a men's US 9, so they may be for the personal. They may be for some resale value there for you. All you need to do, comment the code word Adidas, like the video, and please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're trying to get to 10,000 before we shoot off to the States. So huge giveaway, guys. Thanks for your support of the channel. Let's get back into it. Well guys, it was just another Thursday morning. I was digging through the shoe bins and I found three ratty old pairs of ASICs that I ended up not going ahead with the purchase. So I'd pretty much given up. And then I spied these, the Reebok Court Victories. Switch to the greatest sports performance shoe in the world, the Reebok Bump. Bump up and air out. I almost fainted when I saw these shoes for $35. They go in pre-owned condition for over $200 on eBay, an absolute relic. I still can't believe it. We've got a new segment on this uh, Trip to the Thrift episodes, guys. Fubu Jeans, a brand that I've never found before for $7. I don't know if they're genuine or authentic. I don't know the brand, but I know that there is some serious resale value on it. Let me know in the comments if I found the right ones there. I've got these as well. Another pair of shoes. I've got the uh, New Balance for $8. You can't be going wrong with that. That should convert into about 50 bucks. This was an Instagram viewer poll question, though. I've got the Brooks Glycerin 19 men's running shoes. They're a US size 12. $25 is the purchase price. Is that too much? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I've got the Cougar uh, Wallabies polo shirt here. Really cool branding. Cougar is the right branding here for this one here. Castrol Edge, good little sponsorship opportunity there. Look, I think this should go for about 30 bucks. I always like picking these sort of items up. Nice bread and butter winner. For six bucks, look, it had the Foster's tag on it. Foster's Lager t-shirt here. It was only a size small. There's a lot of reasons why I don't normally go ahead with the purchase of this sort of item. But on this occasion, I couldn't help myself. Two absolute crackers. The Brooks Glycerin 19 men's running shoes. US size 12, excellent condition, 25 bucks. I was on the fence about these, but you guys weren't. You guys said, Matt, put that back on the shelf. $25 is just way too much money for a single pair of shoes. The resale value though on eBay is about 60 to $70. So it's not like the profit isn't there. I was thinking about it though, and I can buy shoes between sort of 10 to $15. So why would I outlay the extra money on these?
Well, this was a really interesting find, guys. Naked Wolf. I haven't heard of this brand before either. And the comps on eBay, even though it was a $35 purchase price, you're talking about $80. So I was on the fence, but in the end, I did go ahead and leave them behind just because of the inexperience I had with the brand. Uh, Ruka RVCA. This is a really good one here. Uh, size 36 waist, a $6 purchase price for some weekend to stretch pants. Not one, but two. I've gone ahead and picked them up. Both of the same size. That'll be a really quick listing on eBay for me. So yet another bread and butter winner. Uh, this was an Instagram viewer poll question, guys. We've got the RJ's motorcycle boots. These are the Urban Boot, they're genuine leather, $20 purchase price. I hadn't done a lot of motorcycle boots before, so that's why I was on the fence. Everybody loves Raymond. This one here should be a really quick $15. Geez, I love that show. I've also found another one here as well, Warehouse 13. You should be getting about 15 bucks for that if you can find a series as well. Sherlock, seasons one, two, and three. The DVDs have come through with the goods yet again. That should convert into 25. We had a really tight vote count on the RJ's motorcycle boots, guys. A brand that I've never really heard of before. I don't really buy motorcycle boots too often, but 52% of you said to go ahead and pick them up. So for 20 bucks, that's exactly what I've got ahead and done. eBay resale value. I'm thinking I can get between sort of 60 to $70 for these. So we'll see how they go. I'll let you know. Guys, we've got a $20 loyalty card and I've just rocked up to a lifeline. Let's get into it. I've got this here, which is a really nice piece of genuine merchandise, the Volvo Size Large Big Winter Jacket. This one should do pretty well for me. I'm taking a bit of a risk at 20 bucks, but yet again, I am still pretty confident about it. I've got a Ruka RVCA long sleeve button up shirt here, just like the look of it. A quick $8, bread and butter winner on that one. Tommy Bahama, we've got a 55% linen combination here with the cotton, uh, an $8 purchase price. Might get about 35 for that one there. Um, Kathmandu, I've got the extra large set of pants and I've also got a, a size large top component uh, to these thermal inners. And I should be able to get about 25 bucks a piece for these ones. Uh, so that was a pretty good grab for just the total cost of $9. Uh, got a champion hoodie here, a size small. Got a new brand for you guys to check out, Love Machino. Hadn't heard of this one before, let me know in the comments if you have, but this one really caught my eye. Obviously, for the all over print that you can see here, just look very cool. $15 purchase price, couldn't believe the comps on eBay for this brand. We should be talking anywhere upwards of $50 plus. So I was very stoked to find it and I can confirm that it was definitely a genuine item. Uh, we moved in to uh, the jeans section. I took the trolley with me and I, I found two really good pairs of jeans here. A, a couple of staple items for $10. We've got the 514s. This was a 36 waist, 32 length. Not too bad there. And then I also found the 32 waist. 32 lengths. So really good two pairs of jeans right there. Threw them into the trolley. I also found a pair of track pants as well, guys. And these track pants, uh, look, uh, should be a quick turnaround for $30. I did pay the 10, but that's not too bad. Uh, the 505 Levi Strauss jeans, 42 waist, 32 length on those ones there. Not the greatest size in the world, but Levi Strauss I'll always pick up. And then we had some Timberland pants as well, a really good brand. So threw all of it into the trolley, guys. Things were really starting to build up. But what I do like to do in this thrift store is head over to the electronics center. Section. And that's what we're checking out right now. And there was one item that really did catch my eye. You're looking at it right here. We've got the Logitech G27 joystick. Um, this was the steering wheel. This had the shifter and it also had the pedals. It was a $90 purchase price. And when you whack that into eBay, we're talking about $280 worth of resale value. But the benefit here for me compared to the comps, was that I had the manual and the original box, which always counts for more money, guys. So for that reason, at the $90 purchase price, I did go ahead and make the purchase. So there you go, guys. Just an epic thrift haul today. A total of 31 items. $403 was the total spend, and that works out to an average purchase price of $13. No doubt the best item of the day are the Reebok pumps for $35. I still can't believe I've been able to find these. Just an unbelievable grab in the thrift. Remember, guys, we are doing the giveaway as well for the Adidas sneakers. Like uh, the video, subscribe to the channel and use the code word Adidas to be in the draw for these bad boys. Now, to look at the budget for this USA trip that we've got coming up, I always do about 45% of what I think the estimated resale value will be for the entire haul. Now today, these 31 items, I'm gonna deem there to be about $1,400 worth of resale value.
value. So that means we can put $630 to the kitty for this USA trip. We're only five weeks away now. I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel for every single one of the last 11 weeks. And uh, yeah, with five weeks to go, we are almost on our way, which is incredibly exciting stuff. If you missed last week's episode, I'll make it easy for you and I'll whack it right here. My 30% clubbers that stick around to the end. You guys are the absolute best. Appreciate your support. We'll catch you next week.